Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about how to multiply fractions. So we have here 3 over 4 times 5 over 8 times 8 over 9. So before we start multiplying these fractions, let's talk about these four different fractions. It in basics natin kung paano ba magmultiply ng fractions. We will start first in multiplying two different frac fractions before we multiply three different fractions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here number one, we have 3 over 8 times 7 over 5. So review muna tayo guys, how do we multiply fractions? Basically, in multiplying fractions, all you need to do is to multiply the numerators or the numerator by another numerator second, multiply the denominator by another denominator, and then simplify your answer. So let's start with item number one. We have 3 over 8 times 7 over 5. So to multiply this, we will multiply first 3 over 7, a uh, 3 and 7, that is 21, over your denominator, which is 4, or sorry, 8 times 5, which is equal to 40. And then, as you can see, in our previous steps, or sa minention kong steps sa inyo, after multiplying the numerators and the denominators, you need to check if you can still simplify your answer. So we have here 21 over 40. You need to think, is there any factor between 20 and 40 that is common? So if wala na, automatic, this will serve as your final answer. We have 21 over 40. Now let's continue with item number 2. For number 2, we have 1 over 4 times 5 over 6. So first, we will multiply the numerators, 1 times 5, that is equal to 5, over 4 times 6, which is equal to 24. So what we have now is 5 over 24 as our product. But before we finalize our answer, check if we can still simplify this given fraction. So we have 5 over 24, and I think this one is already simplified. So our answer is 5 over 24. Now let's continue with item number 3. For number 3, we have 4 over 9 times 2 over 3. So we will multiply 4 and 2, and it will give us the answer of 8 over 9 times 3. That is equal to 27. So finalizing our answer, it's already simplified. So we can say that this is your final answer. Now let's move on with item number 4. For number 4, we have 3 over 5 times 10 over 8. So we will multiply our numerators. So 3 times 10, that is equal to 30 over 5 times 8, which is equal to 40. Kung mga notice nyo, we can still simplify 30 and 40, or 30 over 40. So let's try to simplify our product. We have 30 over 40. What is the greatest common factor of 30 and 40? Okay, very good. The greatest common factor is 10. That's why we can divide our numerator and denominator by 10. So dividing this numerator, 30 divided by 10 is 3. And for your denominator, you have 40 divided by 10, which is equal to 4. And as you can see, we have here our simplified answer, which is 3 over 4. So after items number 1, 2, 3, and 4, I think we are ready in multiplying the first three given fractions. So we have here 3 over 4 times 5 over 8 times 8 over 9. So first, 
multiply the numerators 3 times 5 that is 15 and then we have times 8 so we have 15 times 8 so 8 times 5 is 40 carry 4 and then 8 times 1 is 8 plus 4 that is equal to 120 so the product of 3 times 5 times 8 of your numerators is equal to 120 over your denominators naman 4 times 8 so 4 times 8 is 32 and then 32 times 9 so 32 times 9 so 2 times 9 or 9 times 2 is 18 carry 1 9 times 3 is 27 plus 1 which is equal to 28 so we have here 120 over 288 so you need to think what is the greatest common factor of 120 and 288 you can you know you can pause the video for a while and then try to simplify our answer and think about the greatest common factor so you can pause the video okay so what is the greatest common factor guys what do you think is the greatest common factor their greatest common factor is 24 okay so we can divide our numerator by 24 as well as your denominator 288 divided by 24 so simplifying this 120 divided by 24 is equal to 5 and 288 divided by 24 is equal to 12 so as you can see what we have now is 5 over 12 as our final answer and I think this one is already simplified so we can declare that this one is the final answer when we multiply 3 over 4 by 5 over 8 by 8 over 9 so this will be your task I will give you a question wherein it goes like this what is 2 over 5 times 6 over 7 you can comment down below what is your answer here in the last problem that I gave you again try to multiply 2 over 5 and 6 over 8 so I hope guys you learned something from this video and I hope na ma-share nyo to sa inyo mga classmates or sa mga kakilala nyo that are struggling with multiplying fractions so if you're new to my channel don't forget to like and subscribe but hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me to Chirgon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!